Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tommy and uh, yes, I am recording this in the same shirt because I'm recording this right after episode 2. As I have said, I have so many builds ahead uh, for this plant and... Uh, but I will still... Um, I will still kind of schedule it uh, week by week, uh, if you guys don't mind. And if you do, like... Yeah, I cannot help that. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I just hope that you are coming back here for the builds that you like the builds. And uh, I will not just like spit them out like twice a week or, or, or something just to uh, get ahead of myself. No, 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 no. I will take my time because I've learned. I've learned from the past that taking your time is the thing that all of us should be doing at some certain point. Uh, if you don't know, just give it time. Yeah, I just finished talking about uh, how it is actually good if you don't know about something right away uh, in my previous video, so I might <laughs> just continue with that. No, let me uh, let me focus on the enclosure. This is actually one of those enclosures where I uh, asked GPT, Ch Chat GPT for help. I uh, asked him to come up with some rock formations or some geological formations for uh, starting with the letter U so that we have like we have the concavenator canyon uh, canyon 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 we have the uh, tarbosaurus trench and now we have the utah raptor unconformity and i was like what the what the what is uh, unconformity and uh, <laughs> then i actually like i've heard the word before but i was like I never actually got to Google what it is, and then I found out uh, what it was, and you will see it uh, in the Utah Raptor enclosure. If uh, I don't forget, I will show you a picture uh, now, but um, I might forget. I might just like put this recording into my video and just like render it because. It's not that I wouldn't like to put work into the videos, but I'm not sweating it this time. Like, I'm, I'm <laughs> taking such a blase da attitude towards building this game, and uh, the only reason why I'm so ahead with all of these builds is that uh, I had COVID and uh, I had time to build. I had, like, literally nothing else to do. And, well, yeah, the other reason is that I return to it with new energy i can honestly say that i adore building again i love it and um, yeah this is the unconformity so it's basically defined as different strata of geological record on top of each other on a side of a cliff or a rock so it's like different sediments different sort of something so i'm like pretending that the snow one is like a some sort of a chalk sediment i guess i don't know it doesn't always have to be snow like uh, in my uh, first uh, video of the series uh, for the concavenator uh, i used the snow texture as the waterfall but I will be using the snow texture as snow in uh, the builds to come. Don't worry, I will not be cheating that much. <laughs> uh, but I'm cheating now with uh, the invisible fence. Uh, well, yeah, the invisible fence is in the game, so it's not technically cheating, but I consider it to be cheating because it's a cheap way out. And, uh, and th that is not to say that any of you using the invisible fences and, and, and loving them would uh, do something wrong it's not it's just that i always i always chose the most difficult route the most difficult way to build everything and maybe that was also a factor that that factored in uh, me losing touch and losing interest in the game whatsoever so uh, I said to myself, okay, this park is detailed with decorations to the brim. It's gonna lag so hard. It's gonna be 
oh my god, it's gonna be so bad anyway, so let me, let me just help myself wherever I can, let, let's just like not complicate things for me. And I'm gonna put decorations all around it anyway, so now that I'm thinking about it, like, did I even have to put the fence there? Yeah, you see, um, yeah. <laughs> But there will be uh, builds in uh, this particular park series and in this park where uh, the indiv uh, in indivisible, <laughs> the indivisible, invisible fence is needed. Yeah, I'm putting down the sticks. As if, like, the old me would say about doing this that I must hate myself or something because, like, it's so much work and it's just like one by one by one. But I had a vision of how I wanted it to look and suddenly it wasn't that bad. It wasn't so unpleasant to be putting these all over the enclosure and uh, whatever the uh, steep parts of the, of the path were. Because as I said in my last uh, video, in my last build, I don't really like the uh, sore parts, of, like, like parts of the planter sticking out like, like a sore thumb. Um, it's not really aesthetically pleasing, I think. I sometimes do that, but I resorted to not doing it, not doing it that much in this park. And that's why I'm using just those that have a short base uh, and won't stick out of the ground. This is the Utah Raptor. By the way, I love the new Utah Raptor. It's just like, it's such a beautiful animal with such beautiful colors and we have another like fully feathered raptor in the game by the way i added pyro raptors to the concavenator enclosure because i felt like it was too small but uh i never recorded any footage with it so you will see it at the tour or i'm not really sure yet if i will be doing a part video like uh like like a trailer video but yeah you will see the pyro raptors this is something that i uh thought about as a window to the enclosure like like people can peek in to the enclosure through those walls while they go up there and uh, have a look from the viewing gallery and it actually looks so nice when you walk there in the first person mode and you just like peek there and uh, yeah part of this guest section that I'm building right now is not caught on camera because I forgot to press the recording button. I simply just forgot. I just... <laughs> and it goes to show how passionate I am about building again. That I just simply forgot. Like, it happens. It's... It is what it is. But, um, yeah, I'm using the small planters once again. And uh, doing this like a small information section where people can read something on the table and uh, it's not a table. Uh, information, information post? Where did my English go? Like, yeah, I haven't been recording videos for months now, so I haven't practiced, but I use English every day at work. Like, my, my bosses speak English and it's just like, Oh, sometimes it bugs me so much. Maybe it is because I try to talk so quickly and I try to talk so fast that sometimes those words simply just come as a surprise when I don't have them ready at hand, when I don't have them like this, like, bam, and that's that. So sometimes it can surprise me and then I'm always like, ah, 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 ah. what do I say? So. Those are the moments when I want to return my English degree. <laughs> Those are the moments because I am initially an interpreter and translator from English and German. We don't speak about German. It's like, <laughs> I, I would say that I understand German. It is a shame that I am not trying to... Um, I'm not trying to cultivate the language actively, but you need to have a favorite. 
favorite in life. And there came a moment in my life when I was like, I am not willing to put myself through something that I don't like anymore. And it's not that I didn't like German. I like the sound of German. I sometimes watch uh, some things in German. For example, uh, the, the new German drag race came out uh, like in September or something. So I was I like drag race, so I was I was I was watching that because I was like, okay, I speak German. Let me watch that. And half of the time they spoke in English because, yeah, the whole world is so soaked with English that I sometimes would speak in my language. I would speak in Slovak and then I would just like out of a sudden start speaking English because it's just easier to um, express something uh, when you need it very quickly, when you're used to saying it in English. I'm alternating between these umbrellas, like open and close, to uh, get some sense of realism in these builds, and I, I love that we can do that. I don't know why these benches just like wouldn't want to fit there. I started using these flags that are so awesome. I love them so much, and all of these like new decoration pieces. It's ah, it is. I I have to admit that now that I'm building uh, like the seventh episode of the series, uh, it is getting a little stale. Uh, I would. I was talking last time about how the new decoration can sometimes uh, catch you off uh, catch you off guard uh, because you don't you suddenly don't know what to do with it and uh, what you can create with it. But uh, once you find out, it's really great. But then you, there comes a point when you just like simply use it and then you overuse it and then it's not so fresh anymore and then you get bored again, which I hope will not happen for a long time because uh, I said that I'm back, so. <laughs> but I also said that uh, I wouldn't succumb to the algorithm, that I wouldn't do builds for the sake of doing them, but for the sake of being in love with the game. And that's what's happening now. I truly am enjoying building again, I truly am enjoying myself again, and... Uh, <sighs> yeah. I love this park! I love how it's turning out. It's, tur it's, it's turning out so great. And uh, I don't really want to oversell it, but I said this on my Discord channel when I finished the Tarbosaurus enclosure that this might be the best park that I've ever built. But you feel like that with every single park. If you, if you love what you're doing, if you're not just building it for the sake of building it, for having some speed build series or having some you know like promotion or something like that um when you're building it for the sheer love of the game and the creative spirit that you awake when you're building when you're doing it with that mindset uh, i forgot what i was about to say <laughs> When you're doing it with that mindset, it's it makes such a difference. It really does. You just, you simply just want to do it. You simply just want to go on, even though it's midnight and you're working tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I've been so driven with this build. You have no idea. I haven't felt this much love towards building or the game since last year, I have to say. Like, even my builds that I did at the beginning of this year, like January till June, when I initially stopped, like, even those were arbitrary. They were, they weren't coming off of something, like, they weren't coming off of pure creativity. They weren't, they were, they were chasing after something. They were chasing after, you know, like, keeping up 
and keeping up with the channel and uh, trying to get better and trying to get bigger and that's not what this is about so I said to myself that I would just enjoy myself I would just enjoy the game again and once I did that with this mindset it just like it just like started rolling and just started coming by the way I'm very excited about the new Jurassic Park survival game that was just announced and uh, I would love to maybe record me playing it because I'm gonna be I have to tell you I've never played anything I've never played any you know like survival games well maybe when I was little I played Dino Crisis when I was on PlayStation 1 when I was like maybe what 11 12 and uh, for the longest time I just like couldn't get through the first door because I didn't know how games worked <laughs> I am such a noob when it comes to playing anything else than this yeah, this is the this is the view this is a sneak peek that you get for the enclosure where you will see what kind of dinosaur is there but uh the red should uh kind of give you a clue of what kind of dinosaur like the red shrubs that i put there uh which i love in this combination they should be a clue what kind of carnivore is gonna go there and uh, as i was saying yeah this is the this is the carnotaurus I simply just into a Carnotaurus. It's one of my most favorite creatures in the game. And uh, I will always do more enclosures in one episode. I will just like, I will name it for the like the main enclosure that I'm building, but I always will do. But I will, I will, anyway, I will always do more. <laughs> and yeah don't know what else to I do know what else to say yeah I was uh, I was talking about the uh, Jurassic Park survival game I was I was playing Dino Crisis and I was so terrified of it I was so nervous I was I was a nervous wreck and I was 12 while I was playing the game and it was it was excruciating it was uh, I wasn't used to running and screaming i was screaming uh while playing it so if it's gonna be anything like that you guys are in for a treat if my laptop can actually play the like can handle the game because my brother texted me that it might not and since i am I'm like <laughs> I'm also a noob when it comes to combat. I'm, I'm such a boomer sometimes. I'm like, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a boomer. I'm not in that generation, but like, yeah. My friend, last time that he was here and we were, we were playing Overcooked together. He told me that I'm, the, I'm the basic computer user. <laughs> I am the, I'm the, 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 the most busy. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know <laughs> why I have a gaming YouTube channel. Like, <laughs> whatever possessed me to do this, I don't know. But the thing is that at least you can tell that it's, it's genuine with me. Like, Really, I I don't know what an FPS is. I don't know what <laughs> all those things like. Like my brother is a gamer, like a proper gamer. Uh, he's eight years younger than me, so yeah, he's basically like I am. Uh, uh, what, what's what's the correct term? Like he's he's a technology native, and I am uh, like. I had my first computer and internet connection when I was like 14 and he grew up with it so of course he's gonna know more than I do I mean I sometimes feel like I could maybe try to learn more about those things in my free time but then my laziness kind of kicks in and um, I'm like I always have uh, this is the finished product I always have my dear friends uh, my dear friend Franco <laughs> uh, his name isn't really Franco his name is also Thomas but uh, we call him James Franco because he looks he's a spitting image of James Franco he's he's the he's the James Franco from from wish 
uh, the budget James Franco. But <laughs> it still looks good. And <laughs> um, I have him for all the repairs around the apartment. <laughs> And uh, all the maintenance about my laptop, all the maintenance about my computer, so... Um, yeah, um, I'm your friendly uncle when it comes to technology. <laughs> um, I told you I would get personal and share things from my life, and uh, I'm doing it. Yeah, shout out to you, buddy. Um, and so these are the carnivores <laughs> in their rocky enclosure. I really wanted another carnivore here because I feel like this is the uh, outskirts of the park and this should be like the big guns, you know? I'm I'm building this park backwards. I'm building from the uh, from the finish, from, from the uh, of, uh, uh, down to like the, uh, like I'm, uh, I'm on episode seven and I, and I am finally building the entrance now in episode 7 so well, yeah I needed to get some things out of the way and I was like okay I want to continue this right here right now because I have this great idea what to do with this and what to do with that you will see me uh, being chaotic sometimes because sometimes I will uh, do some things that will come to fruition and the next episode like doing some things in advance when it comes to like joining the different parts of the park like for example the next uh, enclosure that I will be building like this is the th the third one from the uh, Cretaceous Predator pack uh, so uh, uh, you know which dinosaur is left from the Cretaceous Predator pack if you have watched episode one and two uh, these are the Utah Raptor and this is the Unconformity. I mean, it's it's the best that I could do with all these brushes. I'm not really like 100% satisfied with it. Uh, how it looks, maybe 90% satisfied, but it's still like, it'll it'll do, it's, it's fine. I'm not sweating about it. I mean, I feel like the park is detailed enough for me not to uh, go crazy and not to lose my mind over it again, so. Yeah, this will do. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Who's to say it's not? Uh, so I hope you like this new episode and you hope that you like my <laughs> new not giving... Um, what's, the, what's a word that won't get me demonetized? <laughs> Anyway, thank you uh, for watching ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tommy. If you like the video, please like, comment, or share with your friends. And if you think that you would like my upcoming content, please do consider subscribing because there is much more of this park and maybe other things uh, coming. But uh, till the next time, have the greatest of the days and uh, 